In this video, we are going to reduce the matrix into its row echelon form. So when you get a question like this, the first thing that you need to do is that write the number of rows. So this is our first row, we are going to write it as R1. This is our second row, we are going to write it as R2. This is our third row, we are going to write it as R3. This is our fourth row, we are going to write it as R4. Now, in the first row, the first element, it should be always equal to 1. We will name it as leading element. The first row, the first element should be always equal to 1. In this question, it is already 1. So we can write that row 1, 0, 2, 1. Okay. So this is our leading element in first row. All the element under that leading element should be 0. That means this element should be 0, this element should be 0 and this element should be 0. Here it is already 0. So we can that write that row also. So 0, 1, minus 2, 1. Now, here it is 1. We need to make it as 0. This 1 belongs to third row. So we are going to do operation in third row. What operation we are going to do? R3 minus R1. So R3 minus R1. Are we going to get 0? We can check. R3 it is 1. Minus R1 it is 1. So 1 minus 1 it will become 0. We need to do this operation in the entire row. So 1 minus 1 it will become 0. Minus 1 minus 0 it will become minus 1. 4 minus 2 it will become 2. Then 0 minus 1 it will become minus 1. Okay. Now we made this element as 0 and this element as 0. Now we need to make this element 0. This element belongs to fourth row. So we need to do operation in fourth row. What operation we should do? R4 minus R1. We are going to check we are going whether we are going to get 0. R4 it is minus 2. Then minus R1 it is 1. So minus 2 minus 1. Are we getting 0 here? No, we are not getting 0. We need to make it as 0. So in order to make this as 0, look at this element. Place this element here. That means minus 2 R1. So minus and minus it will become plus. Now check whether you are getting 0. R4 it is minus 2. Then plus 2 R1. R1 it is 1. So 1 into 2 it will become 2. So minus 2 plus 2 it will get as 0. Now in order to avoid confusion in calculation, write this 2 R1 somewhere. So 2 R1, R1. This is R1. So 2 into R1, 2 into 1 it will become 2. 2 into 0 it is 0. 2 into 2 it is 4. 2 into 1 it is 2. Okay. Now we are going to add 4th row with the, this. So minus 2 plus 2 it will become 0. Then 2 plus 0 it will become 2. 8 plus 4 it will become 12. 0 plus 2 it will become 2. So this is the new matrix that we are going to get. Now we made all the elements under the leading element as 0. See here all elements are 0. This was the leading element in first row. Now take second row. After making all the elements under the leading element as 0, now take second row. In second row, first non-zero element. So this is our first non-zero element in second row. The first non-zero element in second row should be always equal to 1. So here it is already 1. So we can write both these rows down. 1, 0, 2, 1 and 0, 1, minus 2 and 1. Now we need to make all the elements under the leading element as 0. So all the elements under this 1 should be 0. So this value should be 0 and this value should be 0. This one belongs to third row. So we are going to do operation in third row. What operation we are going to do? R3 minus R1. Do we need to take R1 here? We can check. Suppose we, if we take R1 here, R3, the value is 0, first element value is 0, then R1, the first element will be 1. So 0 minus 1, we are going to get as minus 1. That will create problem here. If it is going to be minus 1 here, then all the elements under this 0, all the elements under this 1 are not 0. We are getting a minus 1 here. So we should not take R1 here. We should take R2 here. Okay, R3 minus R2. We can check are we going to get 0. R3 it is, R3 it is my, minus 1. 
so minus 1 then r2 it is 1 so minus 1 minus 1 are we getting 0 here no we need to add these rows then we will get 0 minus 1 plus 1 it will become 0 so 0 plus 0 it will become 0 itself minus 1 plus 1 it will become 0 2 plus 2 no 2 plus 2 plus minus 2 so it will become 2 minus 2 that means again 0 then minus 1 plus 1 it will become 0 now we made this element as 0 now the next thing we need to do is that we need to make this element 0 this element belongs to which row fourth row so we are going to do operation in fourth row what operation we are going to do r4 minus r2 if you write r4 minus r2 you will get 0 no we need to add this 2 here so we need to put that 2 here so we need to put that 2 here so 2r2 in order to avoid confusion write this 2r2 somewhere 2r2 so 2 into 0 it will become 0 2 into 1 it will become 2 2 into minus 2 2 into minus 2 it is minus 4 2 into 1 it will become 2 itself okay now r4 minus this value r4 it is this row minus this value 0 minus 0 it will become 0 2 minus 2 it will become 0 12 minus minus 4 so there, there are two minuses so it will become 4 plus so 12 plus 4 it will become 16 then 2 minus 2 it will become 0 so this will be our new matrix so we made this element also as 0 so all the elements under this one are 0 and all the element under this one are also 0 now we need to interchange these rows because the third element the the third row the first non zero element should be one here there are no non zero values but in fourth row there is a non zero value so we should replace the rows so r3 and r4 should be interchanged so our new matrix will be interchanged so 0 0 16 0 then r4 will be like this okay then the third row the first non zero element so this is 0, this is 0 and this is our first non zero element. That should be 1. So we are going to write in third row. The operation is going to be in third row. What operation we are going to do? We are going to divide by 16. Then we will get 1. So 16 into 1 by 16, 16 and 16 got cancelled. 16 into 1 by 16, 16 and 16 got cancelled. We will get the value as 1. The first non zero element should be always equal to 1. This after doing this operation we will get the value here as 1. So this will be our final matrix after doing row echelon form. All the element first thing we need to do is that we need to make the first element as 1. Then all the element under that one should be 0. Then the second row the first non zero element should be 1. All the element under that one should be 0. Then the third row the first non zero element should be 1. And all the element under that should be 0. So like that we need to do and this is our final matrix after doing row echelon form. If you understand the topic, do this question and check whether you are getting this answer. If you are not getting the answer, please mention your doubt in the comment section. We are always here to help you. Thank you.